The song's called Thank You, Lord. It's an original. I have to tell you, earlier I did the same set of songs and I brought my bird on because she helped me write this song. Um, she was really good. She sat in my lap. But when I was writing the song, she was humming that tune. Uh, it actually goes like this. That's my bird wrote that. And so I put it on that song uh, that I wrote called Thank You, Lord. So here's Silver's song, but actually it's called Thank You, Lord. next one is the commuter's prayer. I wrote this when I was taking my son to gymnastics and I just wanted to try to make good use of my time. It's called the commuter's prayer. On the highway again, Lord, the straight and narrow just hasn't been my way. Been taken the easy way. Here I am, Lord, asking for forgiveness. I'm not on my knees or behind the wheel. My prayer is simple in my heart, I feel. I've sinned and sinned again and again. I'm thankful for your grace. Thank you. Forgive me seems to happen frequently. Life is hard, but I'm not bored. I'm thankful for you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving me all my friends and family and even thanks. 
impress me as I drive this car. And thanks for listening on the highway again, Lord. I know I'm lost, traveling nowhere on the road to despair. Here I am, Lord, asking for direction. Oh, help me, oh Lord, I don't understand my purpose in life, no divine plan. I've selfishly taken all that I can. It's time to live with you. To be your specialty Life is hard But I'm not bored I'm thankful for you, Lord Thank you, Lord For giving me All my talents and abilities And let these gifts you give me Be to your glory easy, I'd be bored. I'm thankful you are Lord of Lords and bless me as I drive this car. Thanks for listening on the highway again, Lord. I'm proud to say I'm following Yahweh. Another spiritual song in these terrible times is a song that I wrote, and I ended up singing it to a guy at the hospital in the emergency ER. I took his wife. We were I was working a Rangers baseball game, and he had a medical emergency, so she was legally blind, and I blind, and I promised him I would take care of her while he was being checked out for his uh, heart attack. And so they whisked her away to sign some paperwork. And it was just me and this stranger. And um, it was the first time I sang this song to anybody. And it was him on a stretcher. And I actually thought he was going to die. So maybe this wasn't exactly the right song to sing to him. Listen to it. It's called Safely in Your Arms. I wrote this in 2004. Oh, Lord, be not far from me. Protect me from thy enemies. Far from Satan's claws, in your arms I draw. Certainly in your arms, in your arms. Wretched are riches when they're earthly. Found them I through the shackles of pride. Release me from my sinful flesh and let your spirit guide me safely in your arms. Son on the cross, and no longer to fear. Perfect in your plan, not for me to understand how long I'll be here and when. My time on earth is done Into your arms I will run Many rooms are in your house I will go and rest Safely in your arms In your arms the many rooms are in your house. I will go and rest safely in your arms.
So that song was about getting taken away. So maybe the guy on the stretcher didn't want to be taken away. But I was inspired to write Heaven Can Wait off of that couple that I met at the Rangers game that said, uh, can you pray with me? Do you know how to pray? Can you pray for us or with us? And we were waiting for the EMTs uh, to come and assist him because he was having a heart attack. And I couldn't believe these were grown older people that didn't know how to pray. But when you have emergency times, it's like you do call upon the Lord. And there's a lot of people calling upon the Lord right now. All right. So this one's not a Christian song per se, but it's about getting along. And it still goes with my set tonight. I did this set early. I'm going to turn this down. It's a little loud. There we go. So this is called Hey, Why Can't We? And Get Along is the chorus. And I wrote this while we were on vacation with three other families stuck in one cabin in Myrtle Beach, Florida, back in 2004. They start out young in the classroom and in the schoolyard. They're hitting and they're spitting, biting and they're fighting. The teachers are never bored. Fighting over pencils, cutting in blood. Yeah, everything seems unfair. Whining and complaining, time and telling, naming Johnny's bull and Susie's hair. Thanks for watching.